like uh but prism was just like dude i got so many moments of prism just like being a wild dude prism was one of the wildest dudes ever like people just don't know like he was a live wire like like adventurous and, and but I never understood because I was like, yo, Prince, man, you be wow, man. You a crazy dude, man. You be doing everything. He's like, but the thing about Prism, people didn't know is Prism had a heart condition. Mm. So Prism was supposed to die. Like, he wasn't supposed to even make it to be like 10 years old. Oh. And so he knew that. And so he explained that to us. He was like, yo, man, the reason I'm the way I am is because, like, I ain't supposed to be here, man. <laughs> He's like, I'm not supposed to be alive right now. He's like, I got a fucked up heart. And. You know what I mean? Like, I, I really ain't even supposed to make it this many years. So, like, you look at my how I live my life, man, it's because I just don't give a fuck. Because I know that I ain't supposed to be here. I'm looking at this is all, like, bonus time. So, like, prison would, if you if a show was whack, he would bum rush the stage, start beatboxing. <laughs> like, he was, like, that kind of guy. You get on the tables, like, he didn't give a shit. He was, like, a hip-hop dude. Like, he didn't care, man. But he was just one of the funnest dudes I was around. Like, I love prison, man. That was a funny guy. We had so much fun, me and him, and Logic riding around. Like, he was one of the first guys we were supposed to put out on Weightless outside of Cook House and Logic. Prism was. He had a record called The Flim Flam. Crazy record. We used to listen to it every fucking day on tour. And we were supposed to put it out, but he never finished it. He was like, he never finished it. I, I remember we got in an argument one day. And I was like, Prism, man. You done made me listen to this motherfucking record for months. And you, you finished the shit. We ready. The artwork done. Can you just give me the record? Why, why you won't give a fuck? And he's like, it's like, print man. I just don't care like that, man. Look, I'm having the time of my life. Like, I don't care about putting out a record. I get to tour with y'all. I'm out here fucking bitches. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm drinking and partying. Like, <laughs> so that never, that never came out. <laughs> never came out. I think Philly Phil might have put it out later. Years later, I think Philly Phil might have put it out. But the version that we had never fucking came out. Like, we were supposed to put that record out like 2001, 2002, or some shit like that. Man, he was just like, he was, I was like, when he said that shit to me, I was like, damn, I gotta respect it. Like, you know, like everybody ain't out here for the fucking gusto to get rich off rap. Some motherfuckers is just out here for experience. You know, they just wanna kick it. Like, oh, I get in free? I get, I don't got paid for drinks? Groupies is here? <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah. Let me roll. <laughs> <laughs> it well, was incredibly well, and, talented. And and I mean it makes it makes sense 